Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and in this series is where I document my weight loss journey in a monthly vlog recap type of style. I show you guys the ups and downs, the ins and outs, and the positives and negatives of what it's like for me to lose weight. <laughs> and we are at the final month of the entire year, December, showing you guys what went down the last month of 2019 before we start a new decade. Oh my gosh. But we finally are here. We made it. I've been doing this for an entire year on YouTube. Thank you guys for sticking with me. I'm very excited that we are at the end of the month and that we're going to start a new month very shortly, but most likely you're watching this in the new year. So hey, what up people in 2020? <laughs> if you like any part of this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're here watching this video right now, you should subscribe. You should just subscribe so you can stay up to date with your favorite girl on the internet. Keep up with me, essentially, and be a part of this rad community. And also leave a comment. Say hi. I say hi back. But anyways, let us now get into the monthly recap for December. We made it, guys. We made it till the end of the year. Ooh. So I just did a food shop for things that I needed for next week. I got some chicken and I have some avocados in here. I think I have six four lemons, some Brussels sprouts, coconut water, bacon, and eggs, and bread. And that's it. Good morning, beautiful people. This morning, again, this morning, I just did, again, 30 minutes on the bike. My leg is still pretty sore, along with like my ankle and knee. So I'm trying to take it pretty slow this week, whereas, yeah. So that's, that's the tea on that. Last night, I will be honest, I had a little bit of vegan strawberry ice cream with a whole packet of uh, trolley sour bright gummy worms <laughs> and a little bit of chips, well, yeah, probably half a bag of chips and salsa, which that salsa or the chips was, one of them was like really salty and I think it's now upsetting my stomach. But, yeah. So, this morning for breakfast, avocado on toast with egg, bacon, and some lemon tea and coconut water. Lunch was green beans and chicken, healthy. Dinner, chips and salsa, which I was very bloated yesterday from last night's chips and salsa. And the ice cream, not so much because it's vegan ice cream, so I knew it didn't bloat me, but the chips were extremely salty, which I hate salty foods, like overly salty foods. But for some reason, well, not for some reason, I'm about to start my period, so that is the reason why, but I still ate them, and I finished the rest of the bag today. There's only salsa left, but I'm like very bloated because it's just a lot of salt that I've had. Um, from yesterday and today, like last night and tonight. And I'm also going out to celebrate with Cub. Um, yeah, we're gonna go celebrate and have drinks. It's gonna be myself, Cub, and Z. And yeah, probably gonna get something light just because I feel really bloated and it's a little painful. And I just, I don't know, I don't know if I can handle like having a heavy, like a lot to drink. I also don't drink that much. I, like that last week of November where I was having wine, I think three or four days straight for with my dinner. That's the most that I've had to drink in a long time. I usually drink maybe once, sometimes twice a month. I don't drink that often. And even if I do, I'm not having, I'm having like maybe a glass or just like, you know, half of a, like if I'm gonna go get beer at a place, it's usually a four ounce. So it's like a little baby beer. It's not even like a full thing of 
pint of beer or whatever. Um, and then with wine, like, I rarely buy wine anyway. Um, I do like wine. I do like red wine, but I don't drink it that often. And also, it's expensive to buy. And I'm trying to stay on a budget, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, anyways, going to um, grab a drink with Cub and Z to celebrate. ordered some Brussels sprouts. We got some barbecue pork pot stickers. Good morning, beautiful people. It is currently December 7th and it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. Got my nice little satin pillow. <laughs> we don't care about that. It is the anticipated weight update and I weigh 206. So, I lost, I think, a couple pounds, and then just maintained for the rest of the week. Last night, I went out to dinner, and I had some food, as you saw, and then what I didn't record was the fact that we went to Costco afterwards with Mel, in addition to staying, and got a hot dog and a churro. So, costume change. <laughs> I am gonna show you what I'm having for breakfast slash lunch because I didn't really eat this morning. I am having some ginger tea that I got at H Mart with some organic honey. And avocado on toast with salt and paprika and two pieces of chicken. <laughs> that is my breakfast slash lunch, my brunch. She's looking in my eyes And I don't see no other guys Are you telling me this is a sign? Sunday. I currently weigh 205 even. So yeah, it's currently what I weigh. And yesterday at brunch I had this nacho flatbread with goat cheese and I had a donut um, later on that day. That was a vanilla pumpkin spice donut. It was vegan. It was really, really good. Also, I just woke up to my face is like very swollen.
I did not go to the gym today because I woke up with what I think is a stomach virus. I'm not feeling well, so obviously not going to work out. And I have no desire to eat anything. Also, my grandma's here. I'm very excited. Right, Grandma? Yes. Say hi. I show you. I won't show you, but say hi loud enough so people can hear. Hi, Jasmine. <laughs> hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Today is Saturday. It's currently 1.31 in the afternoon. And I'm still sick. I'm still not doing well. I'm currently drinking Health Aid Kombucha, the ginger lemon kind, and I am not feeling great at all. I can't handle any other food besides soup, saltines, and ginger ale. Yeah, it's. I'm not even throwing anything up. Nothing's coming out of either end. I just don't feel good I just have a constant feeling of nausea except on Thursday I couldn't even sit up straight without feeling like I was gonna hurl didn't hurl though but I just felt really nauseous and yeah so I'm still not feeling great so haven't gone to the gym the pa for you know on Thursday or Friday just getting off work but um whoa almost almost ran into the door it is christmas eve and i see my grandma oh that's not my grandma that's not my car i thought i saw her car anyways i didn't work out this morning because i overslept and didn't hear my alarm or my alarm just didn't go off so didn't work out today and the gym closes at 2 o'clock and where she is on 17th street i don't know i don't really know where she's at we're gonna figure it out but anyways didn't work out today i'm not gonna work out tomorrow because it's christmas and the gym's not open so that is the update that and yeah hope you guys have a great Christmas I am feeling a lot better um, today no longer feeling nauseous or sick um, anymore which is good So yesterday it snowed in Denver and today it's still very cold. It's about 30 degrees outside as I'm talking to you guys. I ordered a smoothie bowl from Rush Bowls. It's my favorite smoothie bowl, acai bowl place in Denver and they do really, really good bowls they're tasty and they give you a lot for the price it's a good price point for what you're gonna get and I got the avocado one it has like avocado peach and then I added 
uh, peanut butter inside uh, and it has like granola and honey on top but it just has vegetables in it which is what I needed Mm. that's delicious Today is the last day of December. It's December 31st, and I currently weigh 205, flat, like even. So I feel like that's a good end to the year. 28 pounds down, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I have a New Year's Eve party that I'm attending. <laughs> I just don't go to parties, so we'll see how it goes. Just not a party person, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. So as you guys saw, I ended the year at 205, even, flat. So I'm really excited with my progress. That means that I've lost 28 pounds, oh, which is really, really exciting. Um, I'm 205 and wow, your girl is doing it she's doing it guys i'm very very excited with the progress that i've made i went into december with the mindset of i'm just gonna eat healthy when i can and when there's really good food that's really not going to promote weight loss i'm just gonna eat it and not worry about it i'm not gonna try to you know count calories i'm not going to try and work out even more to lose more weight i'm not I'm not gonna put a crazy amount of pressure on myself to lose weight this month. I'm just gonna eat healthy when I can and eat unhealthy when I want, which is exactly what I did. And I went down, you know, from last month to this month by a pound um, and some change, which was really great and very, very exciting. But yeah, end of the year, 205 flat. I'm very excited for what 2020 has to bring. Um, I'm gonna start January, hopefully, eating i would say the first full week of january just eating as p clean as i possibly can and only having one cheat meal throughout the week um and no candy no hot cheetos no chips none of that um so yeah we'll see we'll see how january goes but as far as the progress that i've made this entire year i'm very very excited with where i ended up i mean i can see a huge difference like my jawline I'm just looking in the viewfinder to the right, but my jawline is more defined. My neck is a lot thinner. Um, I mean, even my fingers are a lot smaller as well, which I didn't think I would lose weight in my fingers, especially. And I bought new jeans this weekend. Um, and I'm like, I can go shopping now and not feel like, oh, I'm the biggest size in the store. I can go shop and be like, okay, like there's plenty of things in my basket that fit me. And now I can be picky with like how they fit me instead of just being like, well, they, I can't squeeze into them. So I'm just going to stop shopping. So that's really, really exciting. Um, and just even my self-confidence and like my body image and, and my confidence, my body confidence and the amount of strength that I've kind of picked up as well throughout this year so i'm definitely going to up the weight amounts that i am you know lifting at the gym and just trying to make better healthier decisions um, with my food choices and i'm just very very excited for 2020 and what it has in store and um man i say and a lot i'm just very excited <laughs> can you tell i'm excited i'm excited so be on the lookout for my next videos. I'm going to try to post every Monday in 2020. Ooh, I feel like that's gonna be challenging and really hard, but I'm gonna do my best to do it. I'm gonna to try to post every single Monday in 2020, try to grow this channel, grow this community. So if you are not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. 
and like this video if you like any part of this video or the fact that I'm doing this type of series and leave a comment down below on what you would like to see from me in 2020. Um, any video suggestions or ideas that you have, I will take them on. So please leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make that video for you guys. But yeah, also follow me on Instagram. It's at the same handle, Jasmine Rosette on Instagram. You can keep up with me a little bit more live, real life up to date. Um, on Instagram, I post pretty consistently on my Instagram and my Instagram stories. So if you want to see a little bit more behind the scenes of how things are going over here, you can follow me there. And you can follow me on Twitter. It's the same thing, Jasmine Rosette. Those are the two uh, other social media platforms that I'm most active on besides YouTube is Twitter and Instagram. But yeah, don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in the new year for the new decade. I'm very, very excited for what 2020 has in store. And I hope you guys had a really great holiday with family and friends, wherever you are at. And very, very thankful for you guys. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye. This is a